So, today I'm going to show you how to make a multifoil Islamic arc. And to do this, we're going to pick up on a code from a previous video. Uh, do not worry, I will place a link in the description for this one. Like this. Okay, a very, a very simple Gothic arc. So, to start off, the first thing you want to do is to grab these elements and simply move them outwards. Also, hide this one so we can have a nice clean slate. And the second thing we want to do here is to push this element up front. Maybe even add in an extra curve so that it doesn't get too messy. Like this. And then down here, add in join curves. Then push this one as well up, up front. So now, so now we know we're, we're going to be using mostly these three elements. Let's push this one a bit outwards. Okay, so the first thing we want to do in here is to add in a divide curve. Put it in here. Let's push this up so we can see better. Next up, we're going to add in a number slider at around 12. Actually, to not make it too complicated, let's put the maximum value at 12. Okay. Next up, we're going to place in a division and connect the same number there. And we're going to need to, to divide this by the, the length. Actually, let me correct this. So this one goes here and this one goes here. Okay, perfect. Moving on. Uh, we're going to need to put in a second division. And this time we want to divide our value by 2. So double dash and then the number 2 to open up a direct panel. Let's stretch this out, place this in here. I usually like to keep my, my codes as tidy as possible. Next up we're going to need a subtraction value. Let's place in our main result here. And then let's place in a number slider at 0 0.10. Then place it in there. Like that. Next up, we're going to need to put up our circles. In there. And then, using all of our divided points as their centers, which then we can easily adjust our value. Now the next thing we're going to need, and once again I would really advise you into pushing these ones further outwards as we go, will be to uh, trim with regions. We're going to need two codes of these. So one, control C, control V. And the first one we're, we're, going, we're going to be using down here. So place the, the curves in, in here. And we're going to be using this region as the section area. Let's actually check how that looks. Okay, we can we can close it again. Uh, and then as for this region here, the first thing we're going to need is an, is a new boundary edge surface like that, and then place it in here. Next up, we're going to need to pick up on our previous curves to place them in here and also pick up on these ones here, like that. Okay, okay, perfect. <laughs> now we can easily block these. Oh, pardon me. Let's go in here and block these, like that. These ones remain. And now let's pick up another uh, join curves. We want to get this one flattened. And then I pick up only the um, outside curves or outside result, if you if you if if you will. Once joined, we can now hide <coughs> hide these, and we start to see how the final curves look like that. Mm -hmm. And as we move on, now here. Uh, one thing we can do here is to simply pick up these three co codes here, 
copy and paste bring them all the way up to the front and then place one here one here and then this one here to join them all together hide this one show this one and as you can see now we can finally see how our shape looks we can then place the, this shape in here we can hide this code and as you can see here that the result will then be a ro ro rotation into a top view an extrusion and of course with our wall we now have our finished our finished uh, arc here which we could then easily adjust all all its values like so oh never go too 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 far with that one and of course its height okay guys hope you found that tutorial in interesting uh, do not forget to like share and subscribe and I hope to see you here next time